going to watch this clip with you and then I'm going to go back over it but basically a quick rundown this is me going to work in the morning I've got the sun in my eyes uh, it's not too bad for me I've got a tinted visor but watch the video and then we'll go over what I could have done a lot better and some of the reasons why I could have done a lot better and the reasons why I didn't and we're going to run it right to the end it's only a couple of more seconds another 17 seconds now as I say I, I, I live in Australia the sun is in my face on my way to work on a day shift and it's in my face when I'm riding home now that's the clip don't know what you saw of it let's play it again okay let's zoom back and play now right into work as I said I've got a white you in front of me the lane to my right is clear but to my left I've got a big truck which you can't see and behind it immediately right up its ass is a car then up the other up that ass is another car on the brakes my danger here look at it why didn't I swing out to the right why didn't I why did I stay in that middle lane it was so vulnerable for any either of them cars to come out and hit me such a dangerous spot I could have been taken out and that was a noob if you like a noob riding it was just not what I am used to doing it's what not what I would normally do and I'm going to stop it right at the end of this now when that stops we'll have a bit of a chat about it there right I like a coffee in the morning I start at quarter to seven and I have to be up early don't get enough sleep like most people and I should dog's throwing his ball about I should be better than that so I should smash a coffee in splash some water on my face and get dialed in I can't afford to make mistakes like that nothing happened I didn't have any um, potential collisions there was there was no sure. whingy dog there was no um, sort of the, the potential for a collision was there because either of them vehicles that were struck behind that crane could have easily swung out into that middle lane to overtake it without seeing me and the, the, the to negate that happening I should have been in the right hand lane a lot earlier didn't see it I wasn't in the zone and it just proves that I'm not perfect it proves that we need to maybe mix up our journeys to work and home instead of zoning out get a coffee into you go a different way sharpen yourself up a bit rather than doing that same route to work every day expecting the same things to happen um, in that instance something new could have happened to me and I could have ended up in quite a bit of conflict with either of them vehicles that were stuck behind that truck I'd have been in their blind spot they were up the ass of that truck that crane sorry giving it this and all they're bothered about is getting getting past it quick glance in the mirror I've got a gap go I'm right in on the shoulder I hadn't seen it happening before I was there it didn't happen but it could have very easily happened that's the sort of thing you've got to look for and it's a mistake on my part I didn't get any conflict I didn't nobody moved but when I did it I knew and I thought you know what I'm better than that and so should you be so should everybody be consider what could happen so what ifs get a coffee into you change your journey to work change your route just mix it up keeps the senses sharper and uh, yeah ride safe all right guys it's just a nice one to show you a bit of different today rather than just point out what to do it's a nice change to show something but not to do I ain't perfect never said I was all right guys enjoy see you in a bit Man.